Hello and welcome to the ground stacking tutorial video for the VTX B28 subwoofer. The versatile JBL VTX B28 subwoofer is designed to be flown as an array, but it also has some innovative and unique features that make ground stacking easy and safe. The interlocking protective glides on the sides of the cabinet offer protection and have an interlocking design that holds them together when stacked. Symmetric feet on the bottom of the subwoofer fit into recessed cups on the top of each B28 to automatically align, ensuring stability and easy rigging. Along with the two-point rigging system, these features are symmetrical, allowing forward or backward orientations to quickly create directional arrays. There are a few options for creating ground stacked arrays. To get started, we use Line Array Calculator software and input the desired coverage using either Ground Stacked Array Mode or Distributed Subwoofer Array Mode. Distributed Subwoofer Array Mode is what we use when we want to space stacks of subwoofers to create electronically steered arrays. Ground Stacked Array Mode is how we create arrays of subwoofers that incorporate other full-range systems that stack on the ground. Both modes use an advanced tipping factor algorithm to determine the mechanical safety to help you decide which accessory to use with the configuration you require. With B28, there are two accessories that can increase the footprint and therefore the stability of the array. The first is the B28 GND. It is a set of compact outriggers ideally matched with systems that transport on ACC dollies. While the sub is on the caster board, we can insert the GND to the locking mechanisms and secure them with the locks. Or, if you prefer, you can add it after the B28 is on the ground by sliding it under the B28 and locking onto it. To set the subwoofer onto its feet, you can tip the sub with one person using the two rear handles. Now, we can set the next B28 on top of it and lock the rigging together. To remove the caster boards, we rotate the cam mechanisms 90 degrees and slide it to one side. Stacking them together is easy with the alignment arrows that are routed into the caster board. We can now add full range systems to the top of the B28s via the three reinforced M20 attachment points. The A8 base plate is a universal plate that can be attached to many different surfaces, including the B28. It attaches to the center M20 on the B28 with the included M20 knob. Once the base plate is attached correctly, A8s can be added one at a time on top. The BP supports angles ranging from negative 15 to positive 5 degrees. If you have A12 systems, you can use the A12 base plate. To attach the dual part A12 base plate, use the outer M20 points and attach each side of the A12 BP to the cabinet. Selecting the angles is the same for both base plates. To disassemble the array, we follow the steps in reverse. If you are using the B28VT to move your subs around, we can attach the A12 GND accessories to the sides of the cart without having to remove the B28s. To attach the GNDs, slide them under the cart and pin the QRPs. When you use the A12VT with B28, we always leave the system at zero degrees. And with the symmetrical design, there is no need to worry about the front-back orientation. Once the GND accessory is attached, we tighten the screw jacks to distribute the weight, improving the stability of the array. For more detail on other configuration options for B28 systems, please refer to the rigging manual and user guides for each accessory. Thank you for watching the ground stacking tutorial video for the VTX B28 subwoofer.